So it's 9.30 on the 17th of June, and I'm just doing my prep for the first time properly this week, I think. Um, as you can see, I've got some moving averages on my charts. This is something that uh, my coach um, is, uh, has been teaching me about. I mean, it's all pretty simple. 20, 50, and the 200. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm not really paying that much attention to them, but I'm... Um, and really more to supply and demand and fractal highs and lows, but uh, I can appreciate that they 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 do have some predictive qualities. Anyway, um, euro dollar. I'm on the weekly chart and I'm looking for supply and demand levels. I've identified this level of supply because there was a sort of consolidation to very sharp drop down, suggesting that when this played out, really, this wasn't a indecision area. It was really just supply waiting to to. Um, to play out and it played out hard and fast now. So I'm assuming that there might be some leftover sell orders up here. Down here, not so keen on this level because it had it's sort of a double top, double bottom, pardon me. And there was a strong push up off it. So I'm assuming that there might be some demand here. As I drill down to the, um, pardon me, onto the four hour, let's find some more local or recent levels. This level of supply, pretty simple, uh, pivot high with a very strong push down, suggesting lots of unfilled sell orders up here, or for ones which haven't been able to get filled because it moves so quickly. And then two levels of demand, one here, um, the most recent one, this pivot low to very strong push up, and this pivot low, fractal low, very strong push up. <coughs> which one's going to get hit? I don't know. I would prefer this one, I think. Um, because there'll be a great supply demand imbalance um, and this level is very near this sort of horrible rangy choppy thing going on at the moment so I would rather it really get out of that and come down and hit this because um, the um, the profit margin the profit potential will be better and also clearer you can imagine if it pulls back to here it's got to get through all this shit before you're going to which is going to limit the profit potential potentially. Whereas if it gets all the way down here, it should have a fairly clean run, at least up to the lows of this, this fuzz, um, which should easily offer a three to one. So I'd rather trade this one and this one. Even that one's an issue because if it gets up there, it's going to have to come down into this chop as well. Anyway, that's the euro dollar. Have I done anything on the smaller time frames? No, I haven't needed to because it's all just choppy. On the pound dollar, start on the weekly. Um, pretty simple pivot high, very strong drop down. Then there's been this, not quite a fractal high, but it's certainly a pause and then momentum kicked in down again. Um, I haven't labelled this one because it's been tested before here, so it's not no longer fresh. So I'm not so interested in trading this level. This level I'm more interested in because it's fresh. And this low here with this strong bullish push up, um, I've labelled... Um, and as demand so going down to the not the daily the four hour i think i'm on and i'll just do that um this pivot high couple of fractal highs and then very strong push down suggesting um unfilled sell orders it has just gone into that and broken it um interestingly but i was thought that might be a level um the net then on the in terms of demand I was hoping or thinking that this here, this very strong bullish momentum up would, would be the start of a demand level down here, was identifying a demand level. Not too keen on this level because it's been touched one, two, three times, so I'm not so keen on that one. Um, so I might actually just get rid of him. Um, this is broken, suggesting that there might be a level up here. Um, and so I think on the daily it's pretty clear that this might be a level here. The only thing I didn't like about it was obviously clearly that if we look all the way over here, it's been tested several times already all around here. So not ideal, um, but nonetheless um, a level. Really, you know, we could see the trend is going up now. So. I'm expecting it to go up into this weekly level here before turning down 
and so really I want to be getting long on demand levels. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. At the moment, my real demand levels down here, the one that I'm really interested in. On the one hour, just have a look down here, there is some fairly strong bullish momentum from here and from here, and they are untested. So perhaps something down here could be interesting. On the euro yen weekly, this level here, again, not too sure how much I like it because um, it's been tested before as demand. This level of supply is more interesting. On the daily, no, let's go down to the four hour then. Um, a load of chop at the moment, so I've gone for this level below it. Hopefully it will clear out some of this. And then, um, and also coincides with the 200. But this is the level that I'm really interested in here with this strong bullish momentum up. It's fresh, it's got strong bullish momentum, and it's gone high, nice push high. So there should be some profit potential in that. And one hour, as you can see, a mess. So just staying on the four hour on that one. And on the power, euro pound, um, euro sterling, um, weekly clear consolidation to, very, to good strong push down um, supply daily. Um, not very much there for me. I can't see very much in that chart. And four hour um, momentum is certainly going down now. This I think is my next level of um, supply. Um, and that's it. I suppose the thing that I'm thinking about at the moment is really getting in with, you know, trying to trade with these moving averages. At least is what I'm trying to. Um, I'm trying to get trade with, with momentum, but using supply and demand. So, I mean, I would argue that this euro dollar four hour chart, the momentum is up. We've got the 20, the 50 and the 200 aligned up. So, and we've even got a new fractal high and a new fractal high up on, you know, high, 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 low. So I would argue that the momentum of this chart is up. So I would like to be getting long at areas of demand. And that would be the next level. On the daily, it's. I would argue that that is starting to show, despite the 200 pointing down, the next level of supply is going to be around here, um, and that might may well reverse there. But currently, the momentum is up, and because I'm trading the four hour, I should be trading the four hour up momentum into longer term levels of um, supply. On the pound, um, very clearly up across the board, really. Yeah. Um, so I should be taking the momentum up um, and buying at levels of demand. So possibly here, and we'll see how it goes. And on the euro yen, momentum is mixed at the moment, definitely. But I would certainly say predominantly up with the 200 angled up as well. Um, the weekly level is still quite a way off, so I would want to be trading up into there before I started thinking about initiating short positions. Um, so for the time being, I'm looking for strong areas of supply to, to be getting, it's probably going to be demand to be getting long at, and on the euro pound, um, momentum is clearly down, so I want to be looking to get on shorts at areas of supply, so even on the one hour, that looks like a good area of supply here but honestly this one may well be here there's obviously some clear downward momentum here and perhaps if it retraces to that that might be, turn out to be a good um, supply level okay I think that's me done for today um, and I will um, try and do something else again this week see ya